Homestead Handyman here off on another project. Today I'm going to be using these ground mount uh, ballasts for solar panel mounting and these steel bars that I picked up over at the scrapyard to build a uh, ground mount for the uh, solar panels that I want to put down. Now these are going to be 450 watt panels and so they're going to take two of these ballasts according to the manufacturer and the other thing about them is that the width from the bottom to the top is not wide enough to lay my solar panel on there. And that's why I have these steel bars to um, use to make uh, brackets and extend this unit. So let's get started with this and see how it turns out. Okay, so the first step in laying this out is to get these tubs uh, that we are going to be filled with gravel and rocks. That's what keeps it uh, from blowing away. And these are made for a uh, smaller solar panel. And so I had to improvise them. So I'll show you how I did that and uh, go on to the next step. So the first step that I'm doing here is uh, putting on these brackets that will catch the bottom end of the solar panel. So all I'm doing is laying them up here like this and then drilling holes into here so I get into this plastic as you can see right there. Okay, so I have the extensions on the top here. And these are the angle iron pieces of steel that I got from the scrap yard. You can see how I've had to cut it to fit in there. Then three bolts are drilled through here. Then what we'll do is put the piece of angle iron that goes across the back from here to here. Okay, after a lot of work, I've got these two uh, buckets filled with stone for what I need. And now I'm going to remove the bottom brace and lay the solar panel in there. And then I'll mount the top brace and I'll show you how I do that. Okay, so first thing I got to do to get this uh, solar panel so we'll have a place to mount it and screw into is I'm using these uh, rivets that are threaded. As you can see them, what they look like. What you do is you spread these apart, insert it. Oh, after I drill the bigger hole, you need to drill a specific size hole. Now that we have that, you insert this in here, squeeze tightly. release and just unscrew it and now you have a threaded insert to be able to attach and this is what I'm using for the points of contact of attachment throughout the whole unit okay as you can see I have the uh, top bar all mounted on there it's screwed to the extension and then screwed to the solar panel in three locations there. So you see on the bottom here, this is the extension that I had to make here because these are 450 watt and I think these panel, uh, these ballasts are designed to only handle about uh, 330 watt panels, a certain width, which I did not know and had already bought the solar panels.